Yeah, we're in the second half of this lockdown now. So, yeah. Okay, what we're going to do today, we're going to take one of the drawings you've done. I don't know which one yet. I might do that one, the top one. And what we're going to do is we're going to digitise it. And the reason you do that is because you might want to make a colouring page out of it, or you might want to have it printed on a t-shirt or something. And there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can do it on um, Procreate, which is the way I think I'm going to do it today. And the other way you can do it is on Photoshop or and do it that way. But to be honest, you might as well just do it on Procreate because of the dimensions we're talking about. And uh, you get a, a better experience with the drawing anyway. So that's going to be an iPad and an iPad. And yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I'll show you the process coming up. But in the meantime, I'm just going to show you down here for a minute. I haven't really been going out at all. Just down the shop. Ooh. He was deader than this in the first half of the lockdown. I think people are getting a bit antsy now. Yeah, anyway, should we go and do that? Let's go and do that drawing. Digitize it. Oh yeah. Hi guys. Okay, we're in, we're in front of the computer now. Um, if you hear banging, it's next door's football. And stuff. So I pick, I've settled on this Zen drawing to digitize. And I'm gonna show you how to do that and some little tips you can do once you've got it. So I need to take a picture. So I'm on photo there, I believe, is that? Don't know what that's for. Anyway, I need to take a picture of that. Let's do it up here so you can see what I'm doing. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to try and get it as, you know, as, as parallel as possible. Okay, so we've got that. So I need to go, I'm going to go into Procreate. And I'm going to create, open a new canvas. And I want it quite square, but I want it quite big. So I'm going to go for Wow, that's quite big, that one. But let's go for that one. 3,000, hurrah. Okay, and all I need to do, oh, oh, I forgot to charge my, or well, connect the pen. Let me just do that quickly. Okay, that should be connected. Oop. Right, what I need to do now is import that picture onto my canvas, add photo, there it is there, that one, okay, and I'm just going to size it up, roughly the size that I want it and place it about there, so you can always move this later, so that's fine, so let's okay that, now you could play around with the um, settings to make this darker but I don't think it makes much difference to be honest with you pick yourself a, a brush that you want to use you can use a plain brush if you want it quite sharp but I quite like this bleeding blush you see it's not quite thing not quite sharp I like it one anyway um, that's the size that it's set to at the moment over there um, it's not really a tutorial on how to use procreate but if you want one, I'll do one. So, we've got the image there. So all we need to do is take the occupancy down a little bit. Let's add another layer now, because that's what we're going to draw on. 
it's basically just like tracing little tip here it depends on how big you want your lines you can either zoom in like this you see that line there um, or you can zoom out more make the line bigger if you want to do um, bigger lines it's whatever you want really um, I like it about that big so all I need to do now is really is to trace this image um, let's do the center column it doesn't have to be exact <laughs> to get this so you don't get that sort of thing you know, overlapping you can come into the middle of the line do that in the middle of the line do that middle of the line do that like so middle of the line like so now what you could do is you see how that's on that layer there you could just now add another layer so you can keep it all sort of separate so I've been on another layer now and I'm going to start drawing this middle of the line now if you keep it pressed see how I'm able to move that now so you've got that flexibility as well Because I'm zooming in, it makes it a lot, a lot easier. There you go. Now, because that's on a different layer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry it on from here. And I'll show you why I've done that soon. Notice I'm not keep, I'm not doing it exact. It doesn't really have to be. So when I fill this this other one, this layer here, I can fill that say with white. I'll show you, like so. And then what I could do is I could take that layer and simply just move it on top. Go back to this layer now because I'm still working on it. And it's just easier, especially if I if I want to fill this up with white as well, which I probably will be doing. It just makes it a lot easier in the long term. So now I need to do the inner bit. I try and do it all in one stroke most of the time to make it more natural. Like so. 
Now again, I'm going to carry on from this part here. So, because it's kind of, I might be using it for a colouring book, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select white, and I'm just going to fill that with white. And you can see now why I had all that joined by doing that. Go back to black just for now. Uh, we'll add another layer now. So, what I could do just to save me a bit of time. If I do that and make that a reference for a minute, so now you see that that's a reference. I go up here, select white, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill on that layer. Um, come back in now. I'm gonna, because I always forget, I'm gonna take the reference off that. Now this fill, I can now move to um, the back there and now I've got a nice background to work with there so now we're on to these these are the fun part now because you only need to do it once and I'll show you what I mean if I just make a new layer come in here and I'm not really going to be fussed about where I'm going to do this because I'm going to you'll see in a minute so I'm going to draw a circle, keep it pressed, two fingers, and now you can see that's a proper circle. So I'm going to do that. Now, what I'm going to do is draw another circle, two fingers, there, draw another circle. Two fingers. There. Another one. I could have just duplicated these and done it that way, but I want to make it look as natural as possible. I know it doesn't look like it's working yet, but you'll see. Two fingers. There you go. Now, what I'm going to do is fill the centre one. And... You see how that's on its own layer now? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start filling it with the white. You'll see why in a minute, like so. Um, I'm gonna duplicate, whoops, duplicate that and I need to fill it the whole thing so how am I going to do this um, hmm. okay um, what I'm going to do is change this to black no one's going to see this anyway and you'll see what I'm talking about any second so I'm just going to feel that I know it looks rubbish there Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go there, come up here. Um, where is it? Gaussian blur. There you go. I'm going to Gaussian blur that. About there, maybe. Okay. Get that. Move that now behind that one. I'm going to select that, oops, select that and that, 
and group that just for a second. Um, duplicate, select that down, just take the size down a little bit. There. Now I'm going to move this one there. Get that one again, duplicate. Um, go there. So let's take that down a little bit. I'm going to move that there. Uh, but I need it on top of that one. Okay. This one. Let me hide that. Oh, that's on the bottom. Okay, so what I could do is duplicate that one. Select it. Oh, wrong one, but never mind. And put that there. Just take it up a bit. Put that there. There maybe. Um, that one. That's that one. That's that one. So that needs to come up. About there, I think. Whoops. What have I done? I need to undo that. Ooh. Right. Right. Yeah, I think that's undone now. Right. Need to move that. That one. No. Try it there. There you go. Like so. Now, what I need to do is select that, 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 group, close that down, and I need to move them to the back. I really hate when it does that. Have I done it? No. Try that again. Move that down to the back. Like so. There you go. See the basic principle of what I'm doing. And I could duplicate one of them and put it there if I wanted to, but I quite like it the way it is. And I can now come up here, add another layer and maybe just drawing these little these little petal things here and I'm going to fill them with whites like so and Rather than me draw them again, I'm just going to duplicate, click there, and now I can just move them around. I can even um, rotate them just to make it look a little bit different. There you go, and now I can just duplicate that one, select that one, bring it down. Maybe make this one a little bit bigger, rotate it, like so. Okay. And yeah, so I've, I'm going to call that done. I'm just going to select them like that in group. Close them up. I'm going to take my flower and I'm going to group my flowers together. Group. Get rid of the background now. Get rid of that one. Um, I'm going to select all now. Like so. Click that. So I can now recenter reposition my drawing I can even size it to maybe fill the canvas try and make it a bit more Whoop. all right take that off there it's probably better to do it that way okay um, about there Like so, and there you go. I've now got a coloring, did you know, what's the coloring page? 
and all I need to do now is come in here and press share PNG because I want a transparent background and I just want to save it that's not the one is it um, share yeah PNG I really want to save it to the camera roll uh, shared album there you go save image and that's done and that's how you digitize and the reason I'd rather do it here and not in affinity it's because there's really no point in having those really sharp edges because when you take it to a printer or whatever you're going to be doing it in like JPEG or PNG anyway and I quite like that rough look because it looks makes it look hand drawn so that's why I quite like doing it in Procreate and it's very good and anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and you learned something there if you want me to do a more detailed tutorial on ha on all this um, I will because it's quite good and I do like using Procreate I haven't used it for a while a bit rusty but yeah anyway please remember to like and subscribe because um, that motivates me to make more videos and if you want to see how more stuff on Procreate let me know um, I do like Procreate and I like the way you can just take one of your drawings and digitize it isn't that cool it's not not bad is it oh yeah anyway be safe especially now with this crap going on and I'll talk again soon bye bye